In this example, we're given this function f of x, and we are asked to find f prime at 2 using the definition of the derivative. So this means the derivative at 2, and use it to find the equation of the tangent line to this parabola at this point. Well, I know that I this f of x function is just some parabola of some kind. I don't know exactly where it is, but I do know that at this point 2, 2, I'm asked to find this tangent line. I'll find the equation of that tangent there. Well, we know that the derivative is equal to the slope of the tangent. The slope of the tangent is equal to the derivative dy dx. And we're told to use the definition of the derivative. And from our formula booklet, I know this is my derivative definition. So what I can say is I want to find f prime at 2, at 2. Well, I'm, then I'm going to have to find the limit as h goes to 0 of f at x is 2, 2 plus h minus f at 2 all over h. Okay, so that's what I have to calculate. Well, if I think about this calculation, this one here I'm going to do over on the side. And let's take a look at, at this computation here. I'll do it in green. If I do f at 2 plus h, this is my x value, and I'm going to plug it into my x value. So it's 3, parenthesis, 2 plus h squared, minus 5, 2 plus h. Whatever the x value is in my function, I plug it in. Then I have to expand this out. So it's 3. Uh, expand this out, I get 4 plus 4h plus h squared, minus 10 plus 5h, which is 12 plus 12h plus 3h squared minus 10 plus 5h, which if I collect like terms, I get 3h squared plus 17h plus 2. This is f at 2 plus h. Now I also have to consider to do f at 2. Well, f at 2, if I take my value and I plug it in, I already know it's going to be 2 from here because this is my y value. That's what I'm asking for. But to double check that, it's 3, 2 squared, minus 5 times 2, which is 12 minus 10, which is 2. Okay, so now I can plug those into my limit, which is the slope of the tangent. I'm going to still have to take the limit though as h goes to 0. This part here is the green. It's 3h squared plus 17h plus 2. Oh, I see a mistake I made. I made a mistake back here. I forgot to distribute the negative sign. Let's go back and take a look here. I have to distribute the negative. Here's the negative, so this will be negative, which will make this not 17, but rather 7. So I want a plus 7h. Plus 7h. Hmm. Be careful of your negatives. All right, so I want 7h. 3h squared plus 7h plus 2 minus f at 2 is 2 divided by h. So let's just rehash that. I know that this part here is this computation. Make sure distribute the negative sign so I get 7h. This part here minus 2 is f at 2 which is this computation here. Alright, so let's simplify all this now. So I get the limit as h goes to 0 of 3h squared plus 7h plus 2 minus 2 cancels all over h. I take the limit, h goes to 0. I factor out my h, 3h plus 7 over h. I can now cancel the h's. And I'm asked to take the limit as h goes to 0 of 3h plus 7. Take the limit means I plug 0 in, 
and I get 3 times 0 plus 7, which is 7. This is the slope of the tangent, which is the derivative at 2. And so if I look at this graph here, the slope of this blue line that I just sketched is going to be 7. I want to find the equation of the tangent line. Well, here's the slope. I have the point 2, 2, so I can plug it into this linear equation. This form, I go y minus 2 is equal to 7x minus 2. y minus 2 equals 7x minus 14 y is equal to 7x, add 2 to both sides, which is minus 12. This is the equation of the tangent line. So to rehash, we found the derivative by plugging this computation into my function. And from there, I was able to take the limit, which finds me the slope of the tangent, which was 7. And then I used my equation of line, my point, to calculate that tangent line. This is the tangent line. Tangent at 2, 